Link aggregation group will help you to aggregate multiple network interfaces into one single interface as this was a single interface. For example, if I have 2.5 Gbps, four network interface cards and I want to combine them, get the improved bandwidth or increased bandwidth. You can of course use one or more network cards for that. Uh, if you configure one, then of course in future you add multiple. So you will not need to do a reconfiguration of that. So what I'll do, for example, if I go back to the interfaces which I created now, for example, I created servers interface. I will simply disable this and I will go back again to home lab which I created so I can uh, disable that as well and I will simply delete them because I don't need that and I will go to now assignments and I will remove this you can see here this opt one we did not do I will delete it from here and I can go here to bridge also delete it from here now you can see here that I have this one extra interface which is physical so we can use these physical interfaces in the link aggregation if i click on plus here so these are different modes of course so link aggregation is used where the switch and of course open sense both are supporting uh, link aggregation control protocol which means that the switch should also support the link aggregation protocol and of course if your interface is connected to multiple switches multiple core switches of course, link aggregation protocol will be helping you there. So LACP is also helpful for the uh, load balancing. It is also helpful for the redundancy, also helpful for the session consistency. And if I talk about the uh, failover, the traffic is sent to both the network. When you are sending or receiving the packets, it is sent to both the interfaces. We are not having any combined bandwidth here in case of failover. So if you are using a round robin, a round robin is having the load balancing, which means that it will send one packet to one interface and another packet might send to another interface so in this case if even one interface is uh, failed so you might lose the packets in lacp it is a, a dynamic link aggregation in fact so it will be sending to both the interfaces and it is also combining the bandwidth of both you can of course do load balancing also so load balancing is simple load balancing uh, usually i will be using lacp save the changes you can see here right now there is only one member which is vtnet2 i will go back again to assignments now you can see here that one device is added which is LAGG which is link aggregation group. If you have multiple internet connections, uh, you can combine the bandwidth of both the internet connections using the uh, link aggregation group. Use that as an assignment. This was about the link aggregation group. Let us continue to next video now.